To begin setting up SketchUp, you will first open up the SketchUp icon from your toolbar at the bottom of your screen. It is not shown here, but the toolbar icon looks like a red cube, and if you go and right click on it, careful not to left click, but right click on it and open up SketchUp, you will see first, not this screen, but the first time you open it, you will see a white screen that has terms and conditions. If you scroll all the way down through the terms and conditions, in the bottom left hand corner you'll see a checkbox, check that box, and then click OK or continue to start using SketchUp. It will bring you to the screen you see here, and the first thing we have to do before we can start using SketchUp is to choose a template. So on the top right hand corner I'm going to click Choose Template, and there are many different types of templates we can use depending on what type of drawing we are trying to create. I'm going to scroll down and you can see all the different types. We will use the one at the very top, which is simple template feet and inches. If you double click it, you'll see up here where it says default template, simple feet and inches, and you should not have to do this again. Let's click start using SketchUp. You should see a screen that looks almost exactly like this or very similar to this. What we are going to do is we are going to set this screen up so that we can have all the tools we need necessary to create our projects. Over in the right hand column you see our default tray with a couple different items in it. You see our avatar in the middle. I'm zooming in and zooming out. And across the top you see our toolbar, one single toolbar. Toolbars have icons or little pictures to them, whereas the menus have just the words that give you drop down menus. We're going to change this around slightly. So let's start by going up to where it says view and toolbars. When you click this very first option next to view toolbars, you will have a list with checkboxes to all the different toolbars that you can display. We want to click the following. We want to click our large tool set. You'll see it come open on the left hand side. We want to uncheck getting started as we don't really need to see it because most of those tools are already in the large tool set. We're going to click on our layers, and scrolling down, we're going to click on views and styles. And you should see they come across the top, and you can kind of move them around how you want, but this default position is probably a good spot for them, and we'll press close. Next in our menu bar, we're going to go up to our Windows menu, and go down to Preferences. And Preferences is where we set some different parameters for our drawings. Um, you should start at accessibility and as you move ourselves down to the different options I want to start at drawing. Under drawing unselect continue line drawing so that you only have auto detect. The next we want to do is a very important one we're going to click on the files tab which looks like this. Now this tab is important because it gives our files the default direction of where you're going to save to. So when you press save it goes to the same spot most of the time if you don't change it. So the first one is models. Right now you can see it's saving to the C drive, users, king, desktop. I want to change that to a specific folder. So if I click this first icon here, I got a pop-up window. It looks like this. This is my desktop. Now you may or may not have this these options of icons in here. You may be looking at a documents window it looks more like this. So move over to the left hand column here and where you see favorites, click on desktop. That should show you everything that you already have on your desktop. We're going to put these files in one folder called SketchUp. Now I've already created my folder so I don't need to do that part. If you have created a SketchUp folder you can just double click and say select folder. If you need to create a SketchUp folder you go to new folder, type in SketchUp, and there's your folder. You would then click the folder and hit select. I'm going to select the SketchUp folder because that's the folder I already have objects saved in. Double click. You should not have anything in here yet and press select folder. Do the same thing under export. Desktop, SketchUp folder, double click, save. This should be putting both your exported models, which are you'll find out are 3D printing, STL models, or JPEG models, which are picture files, into that SketchUp folder. And you can see it says SketchUp and SketchUp, letting me know that it's the proper folder to go to. Under General, take off Create Backup. We're going to leave Auto Save on, which every 15 minutes will automatically update it. 
we're going to leave check for models on, do not automatically fix them, and uncheck updates. We don't need to know that. Let's check OpenGL, shortcuts. This is a place where if you wanted to change keyboard shortcuts, you can. You don't necessarily have to, but if you get advanced enough where you're using a tool, you could change them here. And what we want to do to make sure these work properly at this point, let's press reset all. And that'll make sure that they're all cleared out from the last person that was using it. And we'll press OK. Now, to make sure that this worked properly, let's go to File, Save. Now, since I haven't saved anything yet, when I go to save it for the first time, it's going to give me my save box. And if you notice, it should have defaulted automatically back into your SketchUp folder. If this does not say SketchUp here, we have to go back into that preference menu we were just in and change it. If it did, in fact, say SketchUp, then let's write this as your last name, underscore test. And we're going to save this. Okay. With that file saved, we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's in the correct place. At this point, you can go ahead and close out the SketchUp program and then go ahead to your desktop and open up your SketchUp folder. In your SketchUp folder, you should see where it says King underscore test and that makes sure that your file is in the right spot. You can double click it and it should open up SketchUp once again. And all the changes up to this point have been changed. If you did not get this file or was not in the right place, pause it and let's go back and fix it at this time. If this is correct, well, let's now go up to our window, and over here, I'm pressing the default tray. And that tray that you see is this over here on the side. The pin up here in the right-hand corner will auto-hide it so that if you're not using it, it'll hide. And then if you want to come back to open it later, you can just mouse over it. If you want to keep it open, press the pin. If you accidentally close it out, and it's no longer there, well, then you'd come back over to your window, default tray, and just press show tray. Also notice that all the check marks that are in this drop down menu are all of the panes that show up in the tray. So you have your instructor layers, etc. For our purposes now, we don't need instructor, so we'll X that out. We don't need styles. And we can leave entity material components and layers. If you don't have any of these here, go back to window, default tray, find the corresponding tray that you do not have and press click on it and it will show up over here on the window pane. With the basic setup complete, you can go back in and use the navigation tools to get comfortable with them. Remember that scrolling back and forth with your mouse button where your cursor is located will get you the scrolling in and out effect wherever you place the cursor. If you actually hold the scroll button down uh, the wheel button on your mouse, scroll button, hold it in like a button, you will orbit around like this. And between this motion and your zoom motion, you will use the most. And then if you hold the, control, the shift key and the scroll button on the mouse, you can pan moving around. Now you can access all these tools over here in the toolbar as well, a little bit further down here. But it takes longer to go back and forth. If you get used to using the keyboard shortcuts, the scroll button, and the zooming in, zooming out, it'll be a lot quicker as you go through your drawing. So get used to those controls before you move on to the next tutorial.